Well, for the third straight season, the NCAA College Cup runs through Lubbock, Texas. <laughs> Congratulations, Coach Stone and the Red Raiders as you advance to the NCAA postseason yet again. I, I know it was expected almost this year after a great season, but still a relief to see your name up on the screen. It is, and for whatever reason, they love to put us up there almost at the end every <laughs> year. So whether we're seated, you know, seated in the tournament like we were this year or last year just hoping for a home game, um, they definitely have some suspenseful moments there as you wait. And I think every team goes through a little bit of that, but we're thrilled to be here again and uh, certainly going to take this opportunity to try to move forward. You said earlier you expected a Houston team, so you've done a little bit of research, but what can you tell us, if anything, about Prairie View A&M? Just they've played everybody tight. I think that they have a, a great opportunity in their conference. They had a great opportunity to get to the final in their conference, and um, you know they'll be prepared for us. There's plenty of teams to give them a scouting report, and um, this will be a big game for their program as well as it is for ours. I'm thankful that this is only our third year in here because there is absolutely no excitement lost. This is not our 20th straight year, and uh, every time your name is called, uh, the girls have gone crazy so we're excited that uh, we get to play at home and it's really not about our opponent at this point it's about us just getting ready for the week and making sure we're ready to go on Friday night. You definitely saw the excitement across all of the girls faces but let's go back you put your your team through the ringer with arguably the toughest schedule this program's ever seen how important and how much will that pay dividends now in the postseason? Well, we certainly, that was the point. We were hoping that it would pay big dividends. We had our hardest spring mm -hmm. that we've ever had and then, you know, capped it with the hardest regular season. I think our non-conference schedule got us ready for the Big 12, and then the Big 12 was rated the number two conference in the country this year. So every game was tight. A bunch of one-goal games, three or four penalty kick games in the conference tournament. And so that gets you ready for NCAA tournament time because all those games are going to be tight. Everyone's going to play their best. Everyone's going to have a plan, and uh, you got to be ready for anything. So I feel like we've seen a little bit of everything, and hopefully we're ready. Where do you feel like your team is sitting prior to Friday's match against Prairie View? And what do you like and what is your message? What What is going to be most important throughout this entire run? I think we sit as a team that's frustrated with the way the Big 12 ended. You know, losing in PKs is a tough way to go. You didn't get beat, you didn't win, but you had to go home. And it gave us fresh legs, however. It gave us an opportunity to kind of recover and regroup. And it's hopefully going to give us a chance to get some people back that have been, you know, sidelined. So I think that's where we are. The team's excited, a little bit ornery. Um, a little bit feisty. I like it when they're that way, but you got to kind of rein it in and put a cap on it. And hopefully we can just pour everything into Friday night. As far as the message goes, it's look, this is uh, just like a regular season game. You just a little bit more dressed up, a little bit more at stake. And if you're prepared, then you look behind you and you know you're ready. And I think we will be prepared. You get them at home. How nice is that NCAA tournament here in Lubbock in your own home field advantage? You know, when we started, when we got here seven seasons ago, this would be our eighth. Just dreaming of the NCAA tournament was what we did and getting kids here that wanted that and wanted to fulfill that dream and wanted to, you know, play in the postseason. And now that we've had some of that the last couple of years, just looking at the fact that we've had three straight home games is, is incredible. And it always strikes me at how great of an opportunity it is to give it back to the university who's given us so much from Gerald to Kirby and Judy and Joe and all those guys, that Joe, you know, Bobby, that just support us. They love women's soccer at Texas Tech. It's a fact. We're not an afterthought here. They go all in for us. And so we say, okay, well, how about we host a NCAA game for you? Then there's the community. We've got one of the best community attendances in the country. People from all over West Texas come to our games, and we get to say, hey, we got an NCAA game for you. Come see it. And then to our students and the student athletes that have supported us. We just have such a great mix in our stands. And so to be able to bring the NCAA tournament here is exciting for us, but it is an incredible gift back to those that support us year in and year out. And, then, you know, you just feel that. You feel that energy on Friday night here. Well, it's a 7 o'clock first kick at the John Walker Soccer Complex. Fill the place up. 3,000 fans strong will make a huge difference as the Red Raiders begin their postseason run to the College Cup on Friday against Prairie View A&M. We'll see you next week.